Hey guys, and welcome to Wild Plum Farms. So for the next week or two, I'm going to be working on, well, you can't really see it due to the lighting. However, I'm going to be working on some fun things. Be working on getting this area. Whoa, Claire. There we go. I'll stand in front of them. So I'm going to work on getting this area turned into an addition for the chicken coop. This time, however, oh, there we go. This time, however, I'm going to turn it, I'm going to actually build it a little bit taller. I'm going to put windows in. My plan was on the original chicken coop to put windows in. However, this one's going to have a full-size door. Um, it, yeah, it's going to be, it, it's going to be a full, uh, it, there's going to be a difference. But, anywho. Yeah, I'm going to set you guys up. I know it's a little dark out here. This is going to be like the original chicken coop video. I'm going to be working at night, primarily during the week. Try to get this done. Weekends are pretty crowded. Um, if you guys got any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, this one's going to be built a little bit different than the last one. But you'll see that as I go. So instead of doing vertical studs to hold the um plywood in i'm actually going to build this a little bit like a pole barn where they put stringers across and you can nail straight to the stringers um i put a uh, one by four down to uh for the difference in uh embedding or covering that crack in the wood um so yeah i'm just gonna set you guys up i got lights on in the shop i got lights on outside i can't find my tripod at the moment it's somewhere around this farm i still haven't you know i am in my walls obviously but i'm gonna set you guys up i'm gonna start my time lapse and i think it might go this way this way you guys can see what's going on uh Maybe I'll have to do it from over here. Is that better? Much better. All right. Let's see how we can set you guys up. So it's Tuesday night. Um, it's actually snowing. It's windy and it's cold, but I got to keep going on this project. I got to get it done. Um, so as you can see from here, uh, I got the floor system most of the way in. I just have to get some scraps to go around the outside two thirds of the way around or three quarters of the way around. Uh, so when I set the floor down there, it will be lined up properly and it'll be good to, it, that'll be good to go. I already cut off, uh, you can see a little bit of light underneath the door. I cut the door off, so I got to cut, I had to cut that off so we could get in and out. Um, I'm going to actually keep the two halves of the coop separated, um, at least temporarily till we can um, get our flock get the flock integrated um, then I think as we grow the flock we'll have to we'll have to figure out what we're doing with it um, but anywho I'm just gonna set you guys up in inside the shop with a clear view of what I'm doing and uh, try to keep you guys dry because it's a little hazardous working out in the snow and the rain. It was raining earlier, but 
supposedly we're supposed to get a total of an inch and a half of snow. It was snowing pretty hard earlier today. However, none of it stuck until about 15, 20 minutes ago. And we just got a dusting now. It's supposed to stop here around midnight. And then tomorrow is supposed to be a little cold and breezy. And then after that, it's supposed to warm up again. So we'll get rid of all the snow by then. But that's March in Wisconsin for you. Alrighty, guys. We'll, uh, we'll continue this on and, and uh, stay tuned. So, um, I'm not quite done Tuesday night. However, um, yeah, I'm going to just walk you guys out there real fast. Oh. Yes, I know. I got to finish sheathing the side of my shop, but it's very convenient right now to have that open so I can walk in and out. However, but... As you can see, I don't need that one covered, that two by six out there covered, um, because I can nail to it. It's all the three quarters of the way around that I have boards nailed in, extra boards nailed in. Those extra boards are for, so I, when I lay down the plywood, it lines up on that board and that board really well. However, I gotta cut that outside and I have to cut what was that? That sounded like a duck. Chickens are being goofy in there. Um, but then I'm going to take one of those pieces of plywood over there, cut it down, lay it back here. Uh, and that will, uh, that will allow me to finish this up. Oh, give me a second to get through this wind tunnel. But I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually sit you guys down and I'm going to finish up what I got going here uh, tonight. Actually, I, you know, I'll just set you guys back up. I just want to do it quick. So I'm going to set you guys back up. I'm going to finish up the floor. I only have two cuts. I'm not going to work too late tonight. I I'm, was exhausted this morning to be honest when I got home I was exhausted so all right guys I'm gonna stop blabbing and get back to work There we go. I, uh, well, I turned the light off out there, but I got two pieces of plywood down. It's after nine o'clock. Last night I went way longer, but I want to get, I want to get in and take a shower and try to get some sleep. Highly doubt I will, but you know, here's to hoping I do. But uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions, I'm gonna actually try to post every few days. Um, I'm actually going to sit down tonight, probably why I won't get any sleep, but I'm going to try to post these every few days just to give you guys updates. I'm hoping, I'm not hoping, tomorrow I'm going to cut that last piece of plywood, slip it in so the floor is complete. I'm going to leave the chickens in tomorrow because it's supposed to be cold again. Um, so yeah, I'll get that piece of plywood in and then... I have to pick up two more two by six by eights from the yard. Um, yeah, that, that should be about it. I just need two by six by eights. And then I'm gonna start working. It's gonna be a little bit different than the old coop. The old coop, 
I just put four foot sidewalls on that made a peak because that new area is going to be strictly for roosting. I'm gonna have a bunch of roosting materials uh, and things stacked up in there. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna actually make it taller. I'm gonna put the windows in up at about, I wanna say where those two by fours are is six feet approximately. Um, they'll be right above that and they'll be 18 by 24 windows. So, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put chicken wire on the back side of the window. So when I want to, I can unlock them from the outside, flip them open, prop them, and there'll be chicken wire on the inside of the building to prevent anything from coming up and snagging them from, from inside or from outside. Uh, I'm also gonna put sheeting on the roof. So that means I'll probably have to pick up a couple more sheets. I picked up nine sheets. I have a 10 here. However, I think I need a few more, just maybe one or two sheets to finish off the rafters. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do the rafters, the sheeting on the rafters the same way I did the other one. Um, I learned from that there was a big ripple in the plywood. I didn't like the way that looked. Probably doesn't hurt anything. However, um, there's gonna be some lessons learned through this one. I think I need one, two, I need two two by sixes, and I need a one by four by eight, which I think I have one laying out there to help that door frame back there that's got the uh, bent or the broken board on it. I'm gonna re redo that. Hi, Stella. Where have you been? Why do you look pregnant? I hope I'm not having any more kittens. This poor cat can't keep kittens to save her life. But otherwise, yeah, she was she was eating on the rabbit I, I shot the other day. Oh well. But all right guys. Thank you again for tuning in. Please like, subscribe. Like I said, every little bit of every subscription that we get. And once we get monetized, every little bit that we make from the subscriptions is going to go right back into the farm. Um, we, we, I enjoy doing this. All right, guys. I'm going to head in for the, at least to go get Crystal for the night. And we're going to finish up our chores. Uh, we really enjoy having you guys come along for the ride. Have a wonderful night. God bless you guys. Bye.